My name is Gavin Stone. I'm the Vice President of Marketing at Etico Genome, and we've developed the Dragon uh, Accelerator card for uh, analyzing genomic data. So we've got a, a demonstration here on the IBM booth at Supercomputing, where we're showing the uh, the Dragon card in action. It's in a, a Xilinx uh, Power8 server. We're uh, running a whole exome here, so instead of doing a, a genome which takes around 28 minutes for us to process. We're uh, processing an exome, which is just the protein coding sections of the genome. It takes about six minutes, so it's kind of a more manageable size demonstration. Uh, we're comparing it to standard software, which takes typically around uh, six hours to do. So we're getting around a 50 to 60 to X speed up on this um, here, uh, running the genomic data. Okay, tell us about the block diagram here. What's, what, is do, what is doing which parts? Okay, so, so here we've got the entire pipeline that we're accelerating. Uh, this is for genomic data. There's also pipelines for RNA and uh, transcript, uh, transcriptome, methylation, uh, microbiome and things like that. But for here, uh, we're doing the decompression of the data coming off the sequencing instrument. We How much do, data was that? Uh, on an exome, you're looking at around uh, 30, 40, 50 gigabytes, depending on how, how uh, much co your coverage is. For a genome, it's about 200 gigabytes. So here we're running a small amount of data so we can finish quicker. So decompression, uh, then your mapping aligning is where you're uh, basically reassembling that genome, uh, but you're doing mapping aligning against the reference. Um, and the FPGA is doing that? The FPGA is doing this step. We are then running sorting and duplicate marking. Uh, essentially at the same time as the FPGA is doing this step, we're running these on the CPUs. Once we get to the end of uh, uh, duplicate marking, we then have uh, a, a sorted and, and deduplicated uh, BAM file. We then reconfigure the FPGA to run uh, the variant caller. So uh, it's actually partial reconfiguration. So we keep the FPGA alive. We keep the PCI interface, the memory interface running. We take out the, uh, the, um, the mapping and lining engines, and then we put in the variant calling engines on, that, on the fly. It takes about five to 10 seconds to do that. And then we do all the variant calling so we've accelerated the, um, the most computation-intensive portions of the algorithms for mapping and lining, obviously, and then variant calling. For variant calling, it's a hidden Markov model, um, and then uh, we produce what is called a VCF file, which is uh, the variant calls. And the, vari the VCF file is essentially what uh, doctors would use to make a diagnosis, or researchers would use in their research, research studies, or whatever the, the, the clinical application of uh, the, the genomic uh, sequencing is, they use that VCF file in that. So we're taking a, a complete pipeline end-to-end, -end, producing data that is usable in the end application, and speeding it up pretty dramatically from uh, many hours or days, depending on the amount of data, down to just a few minutes.